Good evening. Welcome to Jim Munley's third. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for October 1st to the 13th. October 1st to the 5th, the pattern remains highly amplified. We have a ridge here over the Northeast Pacific. Trough here in the west went upper low. And we have a, a ridge across the southern U.S. with above normal heights in the east with a west-southwest flow across the east central states. Of the trough in the west, and the pattern will remain in place and will keep cold air mass over the northwest and in the mountain regions and warm air mass over the central and eastern states. Okay, we're going to talk about um, the snowstorm or pending snowstorm affecting the northern Rockies in the northwest. There's a high pressure system over western Canada and combined with a lee trough over Wyoming and eastern Montana will cause a broad area of a northeasterly flow of cold air banked up against the eastern slopes of the Rockies in northern central Montana. And then we have moisture streaming up up the plains and will aid in heavy precipitation rates currently for eastern slopes of the Rockies until the energy rounds are low across the northern plains Sunday night and Monday. So you can see right here, here's, um, we're going to go here. This is uh, 8 p.m. tonight. We have snow. Here's a current satellite image. And right now there's like snow and scattered uh, rain and snow mix and down here we have thunderstorms here so this is the current satellite and you can see the moisture streaming in across this region now um we're gonna go here to 8 a.m sunday and we can see we have heavy snow here the low moves here's our low over wyoming And this will cause heavy snow. Now we're looking at the GFS, and then we go to four, um, 48 hours, 8 p.m. on on Sunday, and then we go 8 a.m. Sunday. Now it starts winding down at 8 a.m. on Monday. I'm sorry, and here's the high that sinks down. And temperatures here will be very cold for this time of year. Now also. Um, a wavy frontal boundary is forecast to move across the central and eastern U.S. next week with heavy precipitation possible for the central plains to the lower Great Lakes during the midweek period. The flow around the western periphery of the strong ridge over the southeast will draw tropical moisture northward where it will interact with the frontal boundary and the potential exists for a few inches of rain. And we have further south across the Florida deep layer easterly flow and influx of deep of deeper tropical moisture will result in an increase of showers and thunderstorms. So um, here's the system. So now we're going to look at the snowfall amounts. We'll go to 8 a.m. Sunday. This is in um, 20, uh, six hour intervals. This is a European. And then we look at the GFS. So it looks like the heavy snow here. Then it shifts to um, Western Montana. And then it starts lifting out early Monday. Now we're going to look at the period for October 4th to the 8th. And the pattern gradually deamplifies as we go through the period. However, we have a ridge remains over the Northeast Pacific and a trough in the West and a ridge over the Southern U.S. You can see it right here, but it gradually flattens to a zone of flow. Miles of good agreement. So for this forecast period, forecasting above uh, below normal temperatures for this region here and I'm forecasting numbers of 48 degrees below normal. Above normal temperatures are forecast for this region here with anomalies of four degrees or more possible. Precipitation calling for above normal precipitation for much of this area here. Probability of currents 35 to 45 percent. Below normal precipitation for this region. Probability of currents is 40 percent. Now we're going to look at the period for October 9th to 13th. 
and most of the models are depicting zone of flow across the nation but you look at the GFS still has an amplified flow with a trough here ridge over the Aleutians or Northeast Pacific and above normal heights across the southern US but a general zone of flow but then we take a look at the other models this is what we see now this is the GFS ensembles European deterministics so I'm calling for this forecast period below normal temperatures for this region here and for the Northeast and the forecast of numbers of four to six degrees below normal or forecast I'm calling for above normal precipitation for much of this area here with the anomalies of four to six degrees above normal take a look at precipitation calling for above normal precipitation for Washington Oregon and from the plains to the Atlantic coast probability of occurrence is 35 to 40 percent and then we have below normal precipitation for this region here probability of occurrence is 35 percent that's the long range weather forecast discussion for October 1st at 13th thanks for coming to Jamunglis World of Weather and have a good day